Okay, ultra processed foods can make you obese and they can also lead to dementia. Hey guys, I'm Dr. Sean Baker. Today we're gonna to talk about the modern ultra processed foods and the problems that they cause. Uh, there was a recent study out of Japan looking at 169 patients. Diets were classified into four different groups. Nutrient intake and obesity was compared. They controlled for socioeconomic factors smoking, age, sex, education, and more. So that was pretty tightly looking at the types of nutrition and how it affected outcomes. Now the high ultra processed group had greater number of calories are eaten, which ultra processed foods tend to do that. The higher ultra processed food had lower protein uh, intake per body weight, lower dietary fiber, uh, lower amounts of vitamin A, E, K, fat soluble vitamins, as well as B, B6, C, niacin, folic acid, potassium, magnesium, and iron they developed higher amounts of BMI. Now, more calories led to less nutrients and more obesity. Now, why is that? A study in 2015 in the Applied Physiology and Nutrition and Metabolism says that satiety is controlled not just by the macronutrients, but also the micronutrients. So less nutritional value leads to less satiety and more calories eaten. Probably no surprise to you guys. Now, ultra-processed diets in this particular study were lower in protein per body weight. We know that protein can in induce weight loss. It can promote satiety. It certainly preserves lean mass. Artificial sweeteners may contribute to obesity by modulating the gut microbiota. The carboxymethylcellulose and polysorbate 80, two emulsifiers that are commonly used, are also present, like I said, very commonly in ultra-processed food, were shown to induce low-grade inflammation and obesity in animal studies. In 2023, the European Journal of Clinical Nutrition showed that higher intakes of ultra-processed foods were associated with increased likelihood of central nervous system demyelination. So basically the nerve, the, 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 the covering of the nerves that protect the nerve, the insulation of the nerves, if you think about nerves as wire, started to break down. It's the same thing we see in things like uh, MS or multiple sclerosis. A 2022 study in JAMA Neuro Neurology showed that, quote, our findings provide evidence that high or consumption of ultra-processed food is strongly associated with higher risk of multiple indicators of obesity in a UK adult population. Diets rich in ultra-processed foods were associated with a 79% and 30% significant increase in the risk of obesity and abdominal obesity specifically. They expected to find higher deficiency, but they found that because they overeat so much, they compensated to some degree and the nutritionally poor diets were you know, only slightly decreased in my, some of the micronutrients. So people will basically eat and eat and eat and eat until they get enough nutrition. But unfortunately, as a side effect that they just get bigger and bigger and bigger and increasingly more obese. Another study showed that consumption of ultra processed foods was associated with cognitive decline among adults from a ethnically diverse sample. So it doesn't matter your background, if you eat garbage, it basically destroys your brain. Now these foods clearly are not things we were evolved to eat. I don't care what you think we ate as cavemen, we weren't eating these ultra processed foods that were there. Now, probably if they were there, they probably would have eaten them because they taste so darn good, but we clearly are not designed to eat them. They don't provide the nutrition or the nutrients that we need. They are engineered absolutely to be addictive, to sell you more and more products, to make you overeat this stuff. It is clear as day, everybody knows it, and yet we still promote this stuff. We still, you know, put it out there. It's everywhere, it's cheap, and it is killing us. Obesity is an epidemic in part because of these food products. Let me know in, you know, in the comments what was a, some of the hardest ultra-processed foods for you guys to, to quit. Um, I don't know if it was Reese's Pieces or Reese's, Reese's Candy Bars or Reese's Peanut Butter Cups or things like that. Whatever it might be, let me know in the comment what was your most challenging food to give up and how you successfully did it because I want to hear some success because I know you guys have been able to do that. All right, guys, that's it for now. We'll see you soon. Talk to you on the next video. Bye-bye.